Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will discuss about the nomenclature of carbon compounds. Okay, but before going into the uh, nomenclature of carbon compounds, let me first tell you what is homologous series. Okay, the homologous series is the series in which, let's say the first Example we are taking in the table is CH4, it is methane. Okay. So, and the second example is C2H6. So, it is ethane. So, what is the difference between these two is, they are differ by CH2. Okay. So, this is the homologous series for alkanes homologous series for alkanes okay similarly in which there is a difference of CH2 and for alkenes let me write if it is C2H4 so it is ethene and the next compound is like propene this is C3H6 propene Okay, so there is also a difference of CH2. So it is called as homologous series for alkenes. Now for alkynes also. This is like C2H2 for ethyne and C3H3 for for propyne okay so there is also a difference of ch homologous series for alkynes okay students now i hope that you are pretty clear about what is a homologous series okay now let's discuss about the nomenclature of carbon compounds. So students, now we will discuss about detail in detail the nomenclature of carbon compounds. So there are some steps that we have to follow to do the nomenclature. So first is the identify the number of carbon atoms, the number of carbon atoms in the compound so first thing is to identify the number of carbon atoms in the compound a compound having a compound having three carbon atoms would have the name have the name propane Okay, so now the second step is in case of a functional group, in case of a functional group is present, it is indicated, it is indicated in the name of the compound in the name of compound with either a prefix with either a prefix or suffix okay so right now I am telling you the steps then we will see some examples based on this okay and third step is if the name of the functional group of the functional group is to be given as a suffix is to be given as a suffix the name of the carbon chain is the name of the carbon chain is modified by deleting modified by 
deleting the final e okay and add in the appropriate prefix appropriate and adding the appropriate suffix only so for example a three carbon chain with a ketone group would be named as propane minus e plus functional group this is fg which is propane and if the functional group is of like ketone okay so we will remove this e and add on so it is proper known okay students so now i hope that the third point is clear to you now let's discuss about the fourth the fourth point is students if the carbon chain is unsaturated means it is having double or triple bond carbon chain is unsaturated then the final ain then the final ain in the name of carbon chain is substituted by in and ain is substituted by in or ain depends on what is if it is a double bond then it is in and if it is a triple bond then it is ain okay students now i hope that you guys are pretty clear now let's discuss some example okay so let's say if the functional group is of alcohol okay so the suffix for alcohol is ol and uh, example of this is propanol okay in which this oh group will be added here in to one carbonate atom so this is propanol propane minus e plus ol okay so now carboxylic acid so for the suffix is oic acid and the formula is let's say we are discussing about propanoic acid okay so let me draw the ccc okay there is a double bond with o o h this h h h h so it is c3 h4 it is c3 total three carbon atoms h4 and c2h4 cooh or you can also say that c3h4 o o h okay so in all the way you can write the formula of this okay so this is known as ethanoic acid or you can also write c3 c2h5 cooh okay c2h4 cooh so this is the main formula for ethanoic acid to show this okay so now i hope that you are pretty clear about the nomenclature of the hydrocarbons okay and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this then please do let me know thank you happy learning